in this video I'm going to give you a very quick overview of your entire Prosper account so let's jump straight in so anytime you log in you land on the accounts page the accounts page is basically an overview of everything to do with your transactions uh, your sub accounts money in money out from the top right hand corner you can add a new business pretty simple you can see notifications of changes that we've made etc so that's your accounts page your accounts page when you click on one of the accounts brings up your ledger which gives you the transactions in and out for that specific account so if we jump onto transfers as you can imagine it's called transfers and so what it allows you to do is make transfers to other banks or within your own prosper accounts as you see here and also pending transfers so these are transfers from team members you're also able to manage your beneficiaries so when you send money to someone the beneficiaries are automatically stored for you and then you have invoicing which is pretty much straightforward it's uh, invoicing tools and you can create an invoice um, and send invoices to your customers um, the account management page is very very important for prosper so here you're able to see what plan you're on account details all the different benefits you have and so here you're able to see also the membership fees that you're due to pay for the month uh, and you can read more about that on our pressing update page but it, this page gives you a general overview of that statements is where you're able to download your statements uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy request a statement and download Teams is where you're able to add team members, so you can add anyone in your team. And then account splitting is where you're able to split funds according to your different sub accounts. And then we head to my profile and on your profile, you have your personal profile, um, you have your businesses profile, and then you have your KYC um, documents, which is the, the additional documents that we will request from you in order to complete the KYC process. Next we have security, pretty much just changing your password at the moment. 